Artificial intelligence and machine learning are in the news, sparking hopes and fears, realistic and not. In order to manage these technologies and our expectations, we need to know how they work. Consider a self-driving car. How does it distinguish between a tree and a pedestrian? Both are objects, but they aren't the same. With so many variables, the problem is too complex for traditional programming. Enter neural networks, central to machine learning applications like a self-driving car. Similar to human brains, they are designed to make accurate predictions when a lot of data must be considered. Take the simplified example. In one end goes an object's height and its number of limbs. Out the other comes a prediction. It's a pedestrian, but how did it know? Looking inside, we see that a neural network is composed of layers of nodes. Nodes of one layer are connected to the nodes in the next. Inputs are fed into the first layer. Before these values pass onto the next layer, they are multiplied by weights, which are unique values assigned to each connection between a node in one layer and a node in the next. At the second layer, the incoming products are summed together along with a number called a bias, which is unique to every node. Once we reach our output node, we have a number which represents the probability of whether the object is a human. If this probability is high enough, the car will treat the object as a human. You can see that by manipulating the weights and biases, we get different answers. With a process called gradient descent, we can automate the adjustment of these parameters until we get near-perfect predictions. This is called training the model, or machine learning. As you can see, the essence of a neural network is not magic, and with this foundational knowledge, we can now begin to understand the perils and promise of artificial intelligence.